dealing with the series on relationship and this is like part four praise God see we must understand that relationship is vital it's an important part of our life you're gonna have a relationship with somebody praise God you're gonna either have a relationship with God or you're gonna have a relationship with the devil but one way or the other you're gonna have a relationship you're either gonna have a relationship with somebody somewhere in time in life praise God now how serious and intimate and all that that depends on you praise God but we're here to talk about relationship because relationship is tearing up the very fabric of our life praise God oh my God because of bad relationships wars have been started people are dying come on people are getting raped come on people are getting hurt getting misused manipulated all because of bad relationships come on cuz see if you don't have a good relationship with God you're not gonna have a good relationship with anybody else praise God because see you think that everything is right because you're doing it this way and doing it that way but if it's contrary to what the Word of God says and you have a bad relationship with God come on now and no good could come out of that praise God let's go to first John 4 and 1 it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world now he said beloved believe not every spirit you can't believe every man that come into your life and tell you he loves you he's gonna marry you come on now you can't believe that's real and fall for that I, I don't understand in this hour you got to have some kind of understanding praise God hallelujah oh my God tell you she she tells you she she wants to be your wife Amen. She just want to drive your car and take your money. Come on now. Hallelujah. And give you very little honey. Praise God. And just keep you strung along because, see, you don't have the relationship with God to try the spirit, whether it's of God. Let's go to Proverbs, if you will. The second chapter. Praise God. Starting at the 11th verse. The word of God says, discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man. From the man that speaketh forward things, which means perverse things, who lead the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her word, which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God, for her house inclineth unto death and her path unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous, for the upright shall dwell in the land, praise God, hallelujah, oh my God, hallelujah, shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it, but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it, hallelujah, oh my God, hallelujah. You need to pay attention. See, he's talking about the strange woman taking me and out, young me and out, talking about the, the evil man that's taking the women out. Come on now. He said to deliver you from the evil man that speaketh perverse thing. See, you got to have some respect for yourself, amen, in order to get respect. Praise God. If you don't respect you, a man is not going to respect you either. He's going to only respect you as much as you respect yourself. If you don't put up a stance and say, no, you can't talk to me any kind of way, you can't bring that drama, save it for your mom. If you can't take a stand, praise God in your life on the word of God and stand praise God see because when you stand God will back you up amen and a man will have to respect you but when you let a man in your life talking to you any kind of way coming any kind of way doing anything he want to do then you're going to have problems in that area of respect and see you're dealing with an evil man if he's talking perverse to you praise God don't even know you but just start coming I want to do it I want to do this I want to do that I want to hit but hey when he come like that and everything you got to back up because you're dealing with an evil man a, a righteous man will respect you 
you and honor you, praise God. That's what you want in your life. You don't want nobody talking crazy. You, brother, young brother, you don't need a woman just throwing it like this, putting a cleavage all in your face and everything like that, and, and doing all the things to entice you. That's a strange woman, praise God, and you shouldn't like it, praise God, because her ways, come on now, can end up in death. You could be messing with somebody else's woman, praise God, and hallelujah, she does that on him, she'll do it on you, praise God. Some of y'all are caught up, praise God. Hallelujah, you need some help. And the word of God will help. Let's go, if you will, praise God, to uh, Proverbs 4, 5 through 7. It says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither in decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. But you need to get the wisdom from God. See, not the wisdom that man give it, but the wisdom from God. Because, see, God knows everything about us. He knows everything about the situation. He knows what it takes. He knows how to hook you up. Jesus got the hook up, praise God. If you're desiring a, a, a spouse, praise God. God, hallelujah, many of you should be because the things that you're doing uh, is against the principles of God. Yes, you are hitting illegal boots, and it's called fornication, and God is not pleased with that. You think it's all right to you. Life is a game, praise God. But see, life is real because after this, there's either eternal life one way or the other, either heaven or hell, depending on what you do while you're here. And if you don't get an understanding on relationship, if you don't get a relationship with God, you won't know the way to make it through the pearly gates. Proverbs 4, 5, and 7 said, get wisdom, get understanding. If you don't forsake wisdom, it'll preserve you, to keep you. You won't get caught up in some of the things you are caught up in, young people. If you just seek God for some wisdom, come on now, and get some understanding, praise God. Now, I know that if, if, if they are killing as a result of being a part of this organization, they're killing, stealing, dealing drugs. That's not my family. My family are those that do the will of my father, not the family that comes against the will. Praise God. And a lot of, uh, of gang members, I know because I got them in my family in parts of the country, praise God. And what they're lacking is love. They're lacking a, a relationship, praise God. And most of them is a relationship with their dad that they're tripping like they're tripping, praise God. Oh, my God. See, dad's got to, you got to answer for what you're doing, praise God. You got to come forth in the name of Jesus. We're talking about relationships. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Let's go to uh, Psalm 34 and 14, if you will. Talking about relationship. Very vital, very instrumental in our life. If you've got a bad relationship, they don't understand how some of these athletes got all this money, yet they're doing this and doing that. Well, part of it is the media lynching. We're not going to talk about that right now. That's another message. But part of it is, is the environment that they came out of. You become a product of your environment because of what your relationship is, praise God. Oh, my God, that's why you hear them say, you don't understand where I came from because you can't relate. And see, a lot of people that are on high have a problem with relating to those that are in the valley, praise God. And let me tell you, everybody is only a prayer away from falling back in the pit yourself, praise God. Oh, my God, so don't think it's one saved, always saved. That's a bad understanding, a bad relationship with God. Hallelujah, because he ain't letting you in like that. Let's go to Psalm 34 and 14. Depart from evil, do good, seek peace and pursue it. If she's evil, if he's evil, depart from it. You can't understand who you are if you got evil all around you. You can't understand who you are if you got to walk with a disguise on. You got to walk under the pretense that you're trying to be who this person say you should be or who this because you're trying to get what you can get out of the person instead of saying, wait a minute, this is me. You either love me for me or leave me alone because I got an as-is warranty, praise God. But then how can he love you if you don't understand that God is love? And if he don't know how to love God, he's not going to know how to love you. All right. Seek peace and pursue it. We're supposed to have a peaceful relationship. Let's go to Galatians 5 and 12, if you will. Hallelujah. Galatians 5 and 12. The Bible says, I would they were even cut off which trouble you. Now, God is saying, I wish they would be cut off that trouble you. But see, some of us don't want to let go of trouble because that's all we've had all our life is trouble. So we think we're supposed to have trouble. We think we're supposed to struggle. We think we're supposed to be on welfare. We think we're supposed to be on disability. We think we're supposed to be all these bad things that's holding us back because of our relationship with God. See, some people got a better relationship. And women, you know this. Some of y'all got a better relationship with your pastor than you got with God. You got a better relationship with your pastor than you got with your husband. And that's out of order because he created man and woman before he even created a church. The churches are not supposed to be your priority. God is ahead of Christ. Christ is ahead of man. Man is ahead of woman. That is the relationship divinely set forth by God. 
But when you put things above your husband or above your wife, come on, you got some men that have camp, they're camping out at church, praise God. Children don't know who they are when they come back. Come on out. The relationship that got sour in this hour because they have a bad relationship with God because God will tell you, you need to spend time with your wife. You need to spend time with your child. You need to spend time with your husband. God will tell you these things, but because your relationship is not where it's supposed to be with God, now everything up under you is affected, praise God. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6 and 7. 1 Peter 5, 6 and 7. We're just going to read it, praise God. It says, humble yourself, therefore, under the hand of mighty, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. You've got to have a relationship with God. There's no way of getting around it. You must have that relationship with God. Praise the Lord. Be blessed. Amen. Get your relationship straight, okay? Now that the devil is tapped out, we have to go. It's been real. Yeah. Yeah. 